Let's do it. Ippy. Ippy. Unable to sync? Why? Oh, because it's Tuesday, right? If you play now, you may not have previous game progress, and you may lose it permanently. Play anyway. Okay. Sure. Yes. I will do that. All right. Another good old fashioned session of bye. Let's just unwind, relax, and enjoy the boy. Hmm. Okay. Ah. All right, chat. So, last time I played, I tried Goo Child, and unfortunately, Goo Child wasn't too good. Uh, so my run kind of blew. But, we got two other characters here I haven't tried. We got Satori on a wheelchair, and we got Seija, who's just sad. So, given what we just saw, and you know, in the last game I played, Let's try, uh, let's try wheelchair girl here. Hematemesis. Okay, so what does she do? Hmm. Transfuse. Chat, how does this work? Uh, how, how does this work exactly? I have a bar? Oh, my stats went up. Oh! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Do, do I have a hitbox when I'm going at maximum speed? so fast I don't know what that's doing but I'm I'm clicking it I'm clicking it <laughs> Wait, I should probably read the tutorial, huh? Wait, there's nowhere to stand to survive this. This is an unwinnable room. Never mind, I'm a genius. Move, shoot, LT, crush. Okay, so I if I do have a hitbox. Ash of Phoenix. Okay, sure. But I don't know what the bar does. I'm getting juiced. I want to build speed. All right, when it's red. Oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> what happened? Why are they... Why are they squish? Why... What's this? Geomantic detector. Minus three luck. 0.05 luck up for each empty grid in the room. Plus three luck for each secret room near this room. What the... What? What does that even mean? Lose three luck. Get three luck for each secret room near this room. What do you mean this room? You mean the room I'm in when I pick it up? Whose item is that? Not like I can afford it. So what does the bar do exactly? The bar is like half full. It like moves. Oh, I see. It, my stats went down when I cleared a room. Okay, I see. <laughs> Transfusion. Give me more bar. More HP, more speed. Alright, I got it. You know what? I'm not gonna shoot you, Plum. Give me your flute.
What happens if I run into a boss? Well, I'm probably gonna die. Cannot maintain the speed. Oh god, inertia chat! Inertia! Oh, inertia! The chair be slippery! Give me that. Musician. Summons a flute, baby plum in the room. Okay. Oh, chat, what do we do in this run? You want, you want to do a proper beast run? Because last time we did Dora Me. We can have a flying wheelchair. We can go full Okina. Is the anger a good or bad item for this character? Good question. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think I'm feeling a beast run. I'm feeling a beast run. Why not? Flying wheelchair. But no. If... Oh, Satori, are you alright? Satori? Are you okay? Hmm. I'm gonna go in there when I get the ability to. Plum Flute seems like it's not that good. But I promise you, it's Poggies. Especially if you get the golden one. But that's, you know, you can't be expecting the golden one. Yeah! Yeah! Crash, bitch! Kaboom! It's like an instant kill, man. It's insane. One of those is Hematemesis. No, I wasn't. I thought for sure it was. Alright, that's fine. They took my legs, Reimu! My legs! You don't need those, champ. You don't need them. You're plenty strong. Get in here, Plum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Plum. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm going to the curse room. You can't stop me. Chad, I'm not doing the devil room. I think Satori here needs uh, needs some angel assistance. Gimpy. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wait, chat, my juice meter's empty. Does that mean I can't crush? Or what does that mean? Does it mean I can't I cannot crush? Transfused. Tisatori will get drug addiction. After room cleared, bar down, damage down, take pills to relieve drug. Oh, I wish I wish I'd read that before I went ahead. Oh well. Easy come, easy go. I have safety cap. I need pills. I need pills. Oh goody. Invisible enemies. Uh oh, oh! I see now. I see the bar went the wrong way. The bar went the wrong way, and I started losing stats. I get it. I get it. I am now. I am now an understander. His brain has popped off, much like the end of this run. Oh Jesus! Hey, pick up the tinty, would ya? Pick up the tinty. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. Pick, pick it up. You only have so many rocks, my guy. Pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. You! You! You, 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 you stupid idiota. Yo, chat, my wheelchair's got jetpacks. Look at that, it's wicked. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. 
We good, we good, we good. Got the chest. Increase the fire rate of familiars. 10% chance to clear chance of opponents pills from chests. That's just fantastic. That is a secret room. I guarantee it. Ah 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 I can't transfuse. Now I can. Hurt me, snake. Hurt me more. All right. What? I thought for sure that I was onto something there. Hey, this is a pretty bad room to be, uh, the ghost. Status effects apply to enemies last twice as long. Okay. Inertia. So I guess killing things with the killing things with the rush attack also lowers the bar. So it's a very strong option, but it's not one I can spam. Ah, oh, so a pill pretty much fills it to max, and trans uh, transfusion gives you a little bit. Ah, oh, okay, I understand. I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Get in there, Plum. Get in there. 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 I messed up because I forgot what Rainmaker does. Alright. As much bar as possible, please. I'll kill the other one. I'll kill the other one. I also need a bomb anyway to, uh, you know... I'm sure whatever this is, is great. Mm, no, 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 no. Chat, you can get a planetarium on the very first floor, right? I'm like 99% sure that's possible. Just not likely. Whoa. 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 Okay. All right. One percent. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because it's a one percent chance as a starting odds. All right, secret room's here. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Where's my ghosty goo? Send me out of here. Put me down! Put me down! It's cool how these guys are visible in the mirror world. There you go, there's some drops. Give me a key, why don't you? That'd be nice, don't you think? Thankfully, the Lost has a lot of uh, abilities that make playing him not, uh, you know, horrendous. At least. Not anymore. Although, when I hear the sound of my thing breaking, I, uh, I get a little worried. I, I do get a little worried. Happens. Happens. Take my time and find everything. I have a pill. No, I have a pill. I have a backup pill. Don't worry. Sure, it's probably a bad pill, but I have it, right? Okay. Alright. That's a little weird. But it's okay. Not touching that guy. Ay, yay, 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 Alright. How many items does this game have at this point? 
I'm not really sure. But what I do know is not enough of them are raw damage upgrades. That's what I know. Go ahead, do your thing. Because Plum is coming in. Yeah! Yeah! I ain't scared of you. Spoon? That's good. More pills. Health up. There's some pretty good pills. She doesn't have anything that, like, ma makes guarantees good pills, so that's kind of nice. Well, telepills can be a little, you know, dangerous. Man, I am moving right now. Look at this. Look at this speed. God damn. Alright, we are going beast. But I don't know, I just like going to the mines. I like going to the the mines and downpour because the the double item room that you can get from the ascension. I think it's funny when you have speed so low and you can tell like you can tell that your speed is so low, like a lo so low enough that like the devs didn't really think anyone would do that to themselves unless they did it by like you know on purpose. So there are some enemies you just, you just, <laughs> what are you even supposed to do to them? Oh, oh, inertia. Well, this is just great. She slides a lot. Please understand, she's, she's a slidey one. This is great. You know what? One one for the friend. One for the fans. And only one. This is all you get. This is it. Great. You know what? I don't really understand why that thing is still the way it is. That shell game has been consistent since like the release of this game. Like rebirth. But all it is is bullshit. All right? It's just pure bullshit. Well, that was also kind of bad. Take this pill. That's great. Watch this. Oh! 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 Is that so? What ought to be? I'll be. I'm doing it. Not the peed. Not the peed. No. I'm dead because this boss sucks. Oi, oi, oi. Look how much damage you're doing to it, and it explodes into money, and then it immediately turns around and grabs the money and heals itself. What are you doing? I'm doing this. Wow. Oh wait, the chair can go over creep. I had no idea. I guess I should have expected that. Experimental syringe. Increase four random stats. Decrease two random stats. What do you think, chat? What do you think? This could be anything. This could be great. This could give me like uh it could give me a damage up. It could give me like uh like a you know, it could give me like a a tears rate up. 
to lower my speed and my HP. That's perfectly acceptable. Active Contrition. 0.7 tiers, Eternal Heart Loss. Angel was spawn even after taking a Devil Deal. Taking Red Heart damage doesn't reduce chance as much. That's... Poogies. Poogies right there. Alright. I don't want to fight the Angel. I don't have a Plum Flute. I've decided. A cube bound. No, I like Plum. Plum is bailing my ass out. Without Plum, I am nothing. I will never be anything without Plum. Whoa, 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 whoa. Things have changed. Look at how big my bar is. I guess there's no cap to it or something. But that thing is filled for... I think it's filled for a while. I was looking for that. Yep, that is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah! Gimpy! Yo, Gimpy be paying, though. 100%. Uranus. Isaac shoots ice tears that freeze enemies taught killed. Yes. Turbo. Yes. Very good. Very good stuff. Very good stuff indeed. Now I can grab some Trezor rooms. If I had keys. When they freeze, they don't explode. It's very nice. Whoa. Man, I love when the character's gimmicks are, like, beneficial and not a hindrance. You can walk on creep. Trinket rock. Stem cell. Wow. Wow. That's pretty great. I'm gonna hit that juicy teleport. What is that card? That card's got a neat looking, uh, art to it. Oh. Oh. You think six damage would be good? But then nothing really comes from it. Alright. I want that card. Situation twist. Reroll all pedestal items in the room. The reroll items will replace future items from the item pool. What? We roll all pedestal items in the room. We rolled items will replace future items from it. What does that even mean? Re rolled and shuffle. What? Please. I'll take it. <sighs> the rerolled items count is taken out of the pool. I thought they already did that to begin with, but I guess... I guess I was wrong. Well, let me try it. Let me go twist the situation. Never mind, I'm not twisting shit. Give me that. Give me that. I'll show you a twist. Come here. Well, if I don't want an item, then I am more than happy to have it removed from the pool. Poisonally. That seems like a benefit to me. Alright. Okay, alright. We're going. We got the planetarium. Satori is still bleeding. Curse of the Blind? That's always fun. I love Curse of the Blind. Nothing quite says I want to play this game like being unable to see any of the items I can grab. Yep. Definitely. And my favorite area in the game, the Ash Pit. Where good ideas go to die. You know, chat, I understand the purpose of the curses is to be obnoxious to the player. But I feel like the degree of difficulty that curses offer the player 
It's not really like a difficulty thing at all. Curse of the Blind isn't really difficult. Now, I guess you could say it is because you can't see the items you're picking up. But really, it's just obnoxious because it's like, do you risk picking up the item or do you just ignore it? Kind of removes a huge chunk of the fun of this game. Curse of Dark is just... Well, I guess unless you're playing with your, you know... Unless you're playing with your monitor stuck with uh, a glare. Curse of Darkness is just mo like mediocre. It's moderately annoying. I like XL floors, personally. I think XL floors aren't too bad. It kind of depends where you get them, I suppose. I like starting on an XL floor. Ow. That's great. I opened it. But I'm coming back up on the ascension, that's why. It's all for the ascension, baby. Okay. Let's think about this for a second. Together. Alright. Oh my god. This Pedestals make invisible invincible Jacob Esau. That's great. If only I could fucking see to use this, you know. But I'm gonna take this one because this one's funny. Alright. That's a base game boss, alright. Yep, his name is Singe. He is he is butt. All of the Ash Pit bosses stink. All of them. In fact, they were so bad, they were like, shit, we gotta get a new one in there. And then they made Clutch. And that was when Ed... Edward McMilton had retired from video game making. Right then and there. Or at least he may as well have. That's great. That's great. <laughs> I don't know who's worse. Clutch or Bumbo? Genuinely. Unsure who's worse between those two fuckheads. I think they're both pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, you can count on the music being good. You know, I never checked if I could go over spikes. Whoa. Ah, uh, can't go over that. Maybe with speed I can. I don't need the knife. I... I don't need the knife. In fact, the knife is probably gonna... You know what? It's damage. It's damage. Yeah, Clutch is not a good boss. In fact, I'm not even really sure what you're supposed to do against him. Like, at all. I thought he was a mod boss when I first saw him, because I saw him when I was playing Fiend Fulio. Hmm. Almost ran into the fire. I assume... I assume it's related to the, like, the broken shovel, right? You know, you gotta do the boss rush or whatever. But if you know what it is, then let me know. I'll give it a shot. I will check it out. Ma. Ma. Damn, man! They don't. They do not put accelerators on wheelchairs. They just don't. Oh, what the hell is this? 
Faster, damn you! Oh. Go, go, go! Woo. Oh, thank you. I'm taking this key, though. Health down. Now, I know what you're thinking right now, chat. What is this guy doing? And the answer may surprise you. Or not. Ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho. Die with Horde Eye switches the character slot out till you die in under a minute. It's a new character. What? Dying with Horde Eye. Wait, what? You're just gonna die with it? Okay, alright. Well, I think I can... I can manage that pretty easily. We'll play a game. Why not? Alright, time to get dank. These enemies in particular are really cool, because sometimes they explode into revenge bullets, and sometimes they don't. And you don't really know uh, what they're gonna do until they do it. These guys are also pretty cool because they have a lot of HP and sometimes they just tentacle you and you get hit and you're like, ah, oh, yes. Good, 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 good. Oh, you're a little close, so you think? Inertia level's rising. Ah, uh, dice room. Those are always fun. Hmm. I did not realize tentacle had that much power. I mean, I knew the squid was using it and, like, killing me instantly, but I thought that was just because it was the squid. But no, that move is just freakishly strong. I was like, what? Why? Please spit me out something. Come on, man. I'm giving you everything I have. Sure. Man, freezing is so good. Just, just the best. Speed up, shot speed down. That's perfect. The Book of Revelations. I mean, yeah. This is regrettable. But it gives you five bombs, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Take it the book. Goodbye, Plum. You were my friend for a long time. But... We have to part ways now, because now I have a cool book. Okay. Nothing explodes, because it freezes. The fool card, that's kind of extremely important. Let's not forget that. The world, I could use that. Yeah. Yeah, slippery bitch. my bar back up while I can. Reveals one secret. Okay. Alright, Plum did his job. Plum did his job. I'm still trying to figure out what Satori is slapping people with for the tentacle move. Because she doesn't have that. Unless she, like, takes her eyeball and, like, swings it like a bat. Which is kind of funny. Because when you look at that, that's attached to her by, like, I don't know what they are, to be honest with you. How are her... How is her eyeball attached to her body? It's like weird little heart pins. Can you take them off? Because they're attached to her clothes. Which leads me... That leads me to believe you can't just take them off. But, you, I mean, you can take them off. That's good. You don't put them over your clothes in that case. You put them under your clothes. But they're, like, stamped on. So that leads me to believe you can, like, remove them. Which is, like, that doesn't make any sense. How can you remove them? And these ice tears are so good. You know what? I can, so I will. Here you go, friend. Oh. Oh. Friend. 
Come on. Sure. Hey, hello, Tremoring Lord. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Well, I got my HP back. Greed, huh? Koi, she doesn't have head hearts. So I guess you can just put it on your body however you f you choose to, huh? It's just something you're allowed to do that? There's no rules as a Satori? Charged Petty. 17% chance to charge your active item when picking up a penny. That's pretty good. Okay. These guys used to be bosses. They don't even get boss HP after a certain point. Ain't no turtling. Okay. <sighs> Check the shop. Of course she ripped them out of her brain. I don't know if that's a good thing to say. I don't know, man. That doesn't seem like a very good thing to say. That's... You know what? You know? Remove them. I don't think they're the real Satori. They're... They're a huge part of them, but I don't think it's like... The real... Like the... It's not... I don't know. I have no idea. What the hell happened to that pit over there? Yeah! Nothing I can't recover. Nothing I can't recover. Are, are they like nerve endings though? Oh. Just thinking about it, like... You know, she can touch her eyeball and whatnot, but like if you touch the core, does she feel it? This is this is the this is the questions. These are the questions that I need answers to. Obviously, if you tug on it, she'll probably feel it, right? But like, if it's attached to her outside of her body, then does it like does she actually feel anything on it? But she can feel pain on the eyeball, right? Surely, she can feel pain on the eyeball. Yeah, freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! You know, I'm thinking about the first time I fought the beast. And how I got there with, like, weenie-ass Forgotten Run. And I spent like 20 minutes fighting and then I, then I lost. I was like, damn, it fought crazy. And I got to him again. And my opinion of that was no longer the same. All right, well, let's use this. Let's grab this. Let's check this. Is that a miracle mallet? One time use. Reroll all collectibles in the room into quality four collectibles. Gain three broken hearts for each reroll. Transforms pickups into their big version. I see, I see. Rerolls everything into quality four. Gain three broken hearts for each reroll. For each reroll? How good do you think quality four items are? <laughs> Damn, man. Damn. Range P. I used to think this was a damage up, but it's not. I'm not taking it. No. I think that's fine if you get your hands on it, but I don't think it's worth the, the hassle. You need to set it up. The, fool. the rarity system in this game isn't completely trash, but it's not exactly the most, like, it's not the most objective thing in the game. Obviously, an item quality for, like, the stopwatch is a quality four item. Because it's really good on its own. I think, really, you should look at the qualities as more so how good is an item on its own. 
as opposed to how good it is with other things. Like Ludovico, for example. The Ludovico technique is not considered a good item. But, as it is an item that would pair with Brimstone, creates a, uh... It creates a goofy, goofy synergy. What is even happening? Then it becomes a tier 4 item. So that's how I try to look at it. Okay. The FNAF movie got a release date? Do they, does it have a trailer? A poster? I gotta see that shit. Is Nicolas Cage in the movie? Is he? I watched Billy's Wonderworld, by the way. It was a terrible movie. Absolutely terrible movie, but I did watch it. Some, some, like, high-tier garbage. No, but Shaggy is. You mean Shaggy from the live-action Scooby-Doo? That guy's still around? What? Are you serious? You're just fucking with me, aren't you? There's no way. Ain't no way. Okay. He's William? Shaggy's purple guy? Wait, that's a spoiler. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to spoil the game. By the way, I'm pretty sure Five Nights at Freddy's is like 10 years old at this point. Just so you know. Just before anyone gets on me at that. Well, who else is in the movie? Who else is in the movie? Oh. Ah. Oh. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Mr. Pratt, we got a new project for you. Wasn't he just in Guardians 3, though? Which, chat, I heard that movie wasn't even bad. I didn't even know it came out. I'm not even sure how they can have a Guardians 3 after Endgame. Like, one of their key members died. Yeah, I heard it was pretty good. I was like, what? Alright, that's cool. Yeah. Was focused a lot on Rocket. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard that he had some pretty uh, emotionally driving scenes. I'm, uh, you know, it's interesting. I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to see it, mind you, but that's that's pretty interesting. It's nice when they release a movie that's actually pretty cool. There's a Gamora from the past. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Everybody, it's <laughs> Oh, it's all right. I have a uh, our speed demon. Well, I mean, Star Lord had his movies, right? I've seen Gar Guardians one and two. Star-Lord had his movies. He didn't need another one. I mean, the man was just... Can I walk on this? I certainly can. The sun? That's great. Polydactyl. Yeah, actually, I will take that. Sticky boy. The devil. Alright. What is Shumagorath? I only know that guy because he's in Mob Marble vs. Capcom. But I don't actually know what he is aside from a giant eyeball. 
because he was DLC with Jill. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean the flying eyeball tentacle monster comes with Jill? That was just a little, you know, a little strange to me. Maybe just a bit. Maybe just a little bit. Marvel 3's got some good songs. My favorite theme in Marvel 3 is Doctor Doom's theme. It's very, very good. I like da I like Dante's theme a lot as well. I like Deadpool's theme. I like Thor's theme. My favorite theme is definitely Doctor Doom, though. Hmm. He's a Doctor Strange antagonist. Basically not Cthulhu. Yog saw yeah, I know who that is, definitely. I've definitely heard of Yogg Sog. Hold still, please. Creature. Creature. I'm going back for that solely. I'm doing it. I thought Dormammu was a Doctor Strange villain. Although I guess he is, but he's like a he's not necessarily Doctor Strange only, right? Doctor Strange's villains are so weird. Hmm. Well, Cthulhu's like the biggest one, right? Actually, that reminds me, chat. Have you ever heard of the game Call of Cthulhu? You probably have. But like what is up with that game? Like, was that- like, people talk about that game- Wait, there's multiple? There's no way. There's no way there's multiple. You- you full of shit. Alright, that's, that's what you are. You full of shit. I remember people, like, watching, like, one or two part ones of playthroughs for that game. And was like, is, what is this game exactly? Like, I don't understand it. And I don't- I don't recall the people I watched ever actually, like, finishing their playthroughs, either. There's a lot of games with the name Call of Cthulhu. Surely you jesting! Alright? How is it possible I've never heard of them, then? Huh? You ever think of that? That does- A whole ass heart! Alright, I gotta be a little more careful. Me. The streamer. Not knowing? Unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. Hold on, I gotta find the... I gotta find the treasure room. Oi, oi. Penny. Right, it was that. I forgot. Okay. One from 2000... 2005?! 2005?! What do you mean, 2005?! Cool enemy. Yeah. A lad is large. Yeah. 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 Technology zero. Isaac's tears are connected with beams of electricity. And best friend. Give me that monocle. Get fancy. There you go. It's like outsider detective investigating seaside town where things are weird, shit goes wrong. That exactly describes the one I watched. That exactly describes it. But now it's now the way you said it, you make it sound like that's the general synopsis for literally all of them. Her throw. I mean, her throw is cool. I don't. I'm gonna take it over this one. That was not good. I 
I'm very slippery, don't you know. Gotta watch these stat downs, mans. You ever see the Mario game? That's based on the Cthulhu stuff? I watched Vinny play that one. That one was neat. Because he got to the end of it and then Mario was like, Oh, Mario cannot handle the true form of Cthulhu. And then he died. He needed all the special kern. Needed all of them. Actually, chat, that just reminded me of another thing. You ever see that music video? And before you say which one, like, I don't even think I need, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. This ain't good. I'm talking about the Cthulhu one. I think it was called Die. I watched that one. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? You know the one. You have to know the one. Anyone who's anyone knows the one I'm talking about. Well, chat, are you anyone? Have you never seen that? I mean, the thumbnail... The thumbnail, like... I wonder if that thumbnail's even allowed on YouTube anymore at this point in time. I wonder about that. You don't know. Nope, don't you nopers me. You're all a bunch of fucking liars. It's just like the Nanolan conversation again. Y'all act like Nanolan just doesn't exist. And I just sit here and, like... I just can't believe this. There it is. Ah, at least it's just one of these guys. Great enemy we got here. Yep. Couple more hits and we'll be, uh, we'll be golden. Oh, I got this one already. Whoops. NASA people. That's the whole thing. That's the whole show. People. The weird one with the pool. Yes, that's exactly the one. See, you did know. You did know. Oh my god. I knew you knew. <laughs> that music video was just... I don't know what that was. I don't even know how to describe it. But if you've seen it, you understand what I mean. What I say. Like, what the fuck? Hallowed ground. Maggie's bow. Heals one red heart, all red hearts heal double their value. Okay. That's pretty good. Not lame. Certified not lame. Because he watched this really fucking weird, ridiculous music video on YouTube 25 years ago. That's right. It's been a long time. If you don't know it, go look it up right now and report back in 3 minutes and 29 seconds. And then tell me. Tell me about your experience. I have a uh, disclaimer, I am not liable for any damages. Alright, just so you know. It's real. Is it really still on YouTube with the same thumbnail? <laughs> I'm kind of impressed by that, honestly. Oi! Oi, I'm stuck! Teleporter 2.0? That's funny business, but I'm out of floors to abuse it, so money power. Alright. I'll see you in three minutes when you watch it, and I will hear your impressions. 
That's all. I'm telling you though, it's some weird shit. The thumbnail's a gray blur. Oh, they changed it then, huh? They changed it. Because the thumbnail used to be a screenshot from the video of, uh, of Dirty Business. Dream Soul. No. What? I froze his ass. Transfusion. Oh, that one. That one's cool. Hello? Are you... Chat member? <laughs> Are you okay? Fucked up too? Alright, you saved it. You saved it. You're good. Alright. You're clean. We good. We Gucci. We Gucci. Give me that. Gimpy. They changed the thumbnail. Man. What a sign of the times. Can't even have my whack ass Cthulhu softcore porn thumbnails anymore. Can't have that. Nope. Not on my YouTube. Things were so much easier back when we could have those things. This guy's pretty cool. Keep it up. Alright. They knew how to clickbait. They did! But you can still clickbait like that nowadays. I nap. I sleep. Ah. Right. Hearts now heal double. I forgot. Because of Maggie's bow. Impressive. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is delicious. Oh. Well, that's not so good. Alright, good night. I sleep. The sadness envelops. I... Don't ask. Don't ask me. I don't know why I didn't dodge that. Ay, oh, Jesus! I blame inertia. I blame inertia! I actually forgot Dogma was the boss when I said, let's go do the beast. I, why? Why, why does he only ever do this attack? Against the Holy Spirit! Oh. This music goes hard. There you go, that's an attack. On his other attacks, easier to dodge? No! It's <laughs> no! They're not harder to dodge, but you can actually hit him while he does them. That one's just annoying because it takes so much time. And if you're not fast enough, it's like... Alright. I don't remember how this fight goes at all. Uh... I'm sure I could cheese it. 
I'm in my rocket chair. That's good. That's a good time to lose the Holy Mantle. That's a good time to get hit as well. That's one. I feel like I'm playing like Parodius right now. I don't know whose theme I like better in this whole fight. Pestilences or wars? I cook the meatball. Right, he has he he does that. I forgot. I forgot he did that. That's weird because he only has one phase. Yeah, Beast is a very good final boss. In my opinion, anyway. But when you compare him to the likes of Delirium, it's kind of like... You know. <laughs> it's not really a fair contest. Inertia flying! Oh, I am on phase two. Okay, that's nice. You can tell you're on the next phase when the, the rocks start to crumble. Whoops. I think, yeah, I think at this point it's good. Not Yuma. Not Yuma. Ready for loud noises, chat. Very loud. Then suddenly, the sky above. Ow. Alright. Alright, so what am I doing for this character? What am I doing for this character? 
I have to just die? I can die. I'll show you how to die. I'll show you. Five. After the player dies, he will become me. I will corrupt the dead and make them become me forever until my life reaches its end in one minute and I am buried again. Me. What? He will become me. Alright. Guess I'll die. Great. Oh, great item. The item that makes my eyeballs hurt. Guess I'll die. Ah, yes. Horror game. <laughs> of course I don't have my fucking eyes for this. Ow. Did you hold still? What do I do as this, this character? I have a minute, right? That's what it said? And then what happens? Do I just- do I just die? Get rid of those. Give me my eyes back! Pause. Bada butt. PhD. Jawbone. Shmool. Well, I get to keep the starting item of the loss, which is cool, but I'm not really sure how long the game's gonna, like, let me be this character for. Oh, she doesn't have eyes anyway. Well, I don't want to die. I want to see what this character can do. Can't pick those up. Okay. Yep. 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 I am me. Hold I. Oh goody. Famine. No, I gotta get that thumbnail shot. Actually. Actually. Do I? I already have- I have Satori in a wheelchair. Or maybe that one's too vile. So what's with the bar up there? Like, I, I see brimstone. I see a bomb. I see a blood pack. I see Abaddon. I see a curse room door for some reason. I see a bomb. And I see shot speed. Fire. What is even happening? Oh, so it wants me to die. So I have to die via enemy, uh, projectile, blood bag donation, uh, laser, fire, bomb, curse door. What's the, uh, what's the pentagram then? What's that represent? Hunger. Die to a devil deal. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, let me go... Let me go stab myself in that door then. Okay. Watch. Ouch. I died, but I came back. I came back with half a soli. What did I get for it? What happens if I die eight times in different ways? Do I become super powerful? 
That's kind of neat to experiment with, but I think it's okay if I uh, touch grass. Okay. Let me touch grass for now. Maybe another time. I'm too tired to do a full run, so I think I'll, I'll look at the challenges. Alright, chat. Last time we tried Heavy Debt. Now we'll try Shadow Died Twice. Take a peek at it. Psycho Knife. And a Katana. That's your Ahimez, right? No, it's the Rokonken. Watch your back. Psycho Knife. I can't read it. Cut enemies by sword in 18 seconds. Deal 5 times the player damage per hit and can destroy ob... Obstalks. Will dash into movement. Direct If uses again. Deal times 2 player damage per hit. Charge active items. Psycho Knife. Execute a nearby enemy will instantly kill monsters. What are those flowers? Our player revives after death with heart of half heart containers, then dies. Then just that this disappears. Oh, okay. Come here. Come here. Die. Die. Oh. Huh. Wait, I have to go all the way to the lamb with this? Oh shit. Whoa. Get the hell out of the way, bro. No, bring it back. Rock. Black cards, please. Thank you. Uh, I got 18 seconds of sword. And it's like ridiculous. <laughs> A hierophant. Okay, so this challenge is all about being stabby. Is this how you play Sekiro? That's why I know the name. I was like, why is it called Shadows Died Twice? I've heard that before. Now it makes sense. I, for some reason, I thought of Castlevania. Yo. <laughs> no, that's actually uh, that's a reskin of Mr. Dolly. I, I put that mod on. <laughs> it's just Mr. Dolly. But, you know, it's got a... Got an upgrade. I got a boomo. All right, psycho killer. You want to do something fun, chat? Let's do something fun. Let's do something fun. Uh, give item PJs. <laughs> give item PJs. Hello, what you got there? Your mamba's chopper. Has chance to restore half red heart when enemy killed. Has chance to drop coin when player is damaged. These chances are based on player's luck. This item can be shown in Curse of Blind. Both good and evil. Okay, thanks for the chopper. This is cheating, Omega oh, Lol. I'll, I'll show you. You better watch your back, son. This isn't cheating. This is strategically speeding up the process. Oh, I found a secret. That's pretty. That's pretty poggies. Watch this. Look at this secret. The moon? Goodbye, Uriel. Wow, free money. Whoa, see ya. Oh! I've cheated not only the game, but myself. Welcome to the dark room. 
Easy clap. Great. See ya. The moon. How you doing? Speed up. Speed up. Yeah, wicked. Come here. I'm winning. I'm winning. Hey, does this thing kill enemy? Psycho. Okay, all right, no problem. I demand you die, terrible boss. I consumed him. Execution. I gained a lot. Like this, I gained... I gained some PJs. See? Look how much I've gained. That's good. That's good stuff. He's wearing three layers. Wait, why am I bleeding? Why was that hurting me? Oh, you, you suck. Yeah. Now watch as I obtain more PJs. Crazy. Crazy how I do that. Some nice PJs, man. And my reward is <laughs> a nice pair of PJs. Yeah. Kind of insane amount of damage. It'd be better if I actually played the entire challenge out, huh? I just want to check out the other challenge. I wasn't planning on playing this one in its entirety. But it's cool. So now I'm just trying to... I'm just, you know, I'll, I'll play it out because it's funny to do it like this. But I wasn't exactly looking to play the whole thing in the first place. Rokonkin's well, kind of a nutty item, though. <laughs> Absolutely choppered. The Forgotten Room. Okay. Little Loki. I did it, I found the end. This bomb. Eat it. Eat it. All right, here we go. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool tab. Cool, cool challenge. Cool challenge. That one could be actually pretty fun. All right, what's this one? Steam Age. Steam Age. We got a Tengu cell phone. Oh, I can, I can buy. I got deep pockets and lucky foot. There are only three goods at the time, and differences between the goods are determined according to the current room. The purchase goods will be delivered. Yeah, okay. So this run is all about... 
Oh, I bet I bet every item room was a quarter. So okay. Okay, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I've seen enough. So that one's neat. Okay, so so far these three challenges that I've seen are actually pretty neat challenges that are like ways to change up how you play the game, but not in a way that's just like terrible. However, this one sounds awful. Pure purist. Yorihime sword, right? Give me it. Get to mom. I have nothing. Boink. Me. How, uh... How pure are we talking? What exactly is pure about this? You only have to get to mom so you know the challenge is sucky. They only make you go to mom when the challenge is giggle bad. Or it's one of the default 12, 20 challenges. Or I guess not all, you know, a few of them were. I kind of want to try to do a Horai run where I get all the uh, special unlocks, but I guess there's probably an order for it, right? Pure Fury. Oh, I see. Lippy. I got her aura. So that's it. Hold on, okay, I wanna find if there's an item room. But I'll fight a boss and see if the item I get is just just all Junko items. What was the original Purist challenge, chat? Wasn't it just default yeah, it was just default run with no uh It was a default run with no um treasure rooms. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. I see. Okay. I'm kind of curious to see how this one plays out. Maybe I play this one out. Cause like, it is just uh... What do you say? It doesn't only to mom. That's good. Yeah. It is only to mom. But any tinty or like secret room items and whatnot will always be just a raw damage upgrade. That's a cool Junko item, actually. It's just, it's just pure fury. 1.5 damage modifier. That's pretty good. Give me the secret. Oh. Oh. Okay. The only thing in the game right now is a damage item. And Hordai. I have Hordai now as well. She's my friend. Chad, I thought I was gonna have to take Hodai to like Shanghai and unlock Alice or some shit. <laughs> but I guess walking around as the hang doll is uh pretty in tune for Isaac after all. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Getting kind of angry. Getting a little furious. <laughs> Damage caps are lame. Capping the fun in this game is lame. Alright? That's lame behavior. 
Wait, if this blows up into a blood bank? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! There's a 1.5 damage modifier on top. Of it. Look at the damage is so much this guy's head like explodes in itself. It multiplies on the multiplier. Oh, I got hit by that. Cringe. Don't mind me. I'm just shooting off 39.87. Nothing, nothing that can't be done by any other human playing this game. Oh. Oh. This is this is it right here. That wasn't it. What? I have six, 1.5. So chat, 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5. Wow. I think there's a silhouette of Chang. -e. But no, we don't know what she looks like. To be honest, I'm not even sure if she's, like, alive. Straight up, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's an immortal on the moon or something like that. But, like, she only really exists in name. That guy survived a hit. Damn, man. Where is it? Is she a frog? What? What are you talking about? Brother. Are you okay? Oh my god. You can't just call people frogs. Well, I mean, you can call Subaco a frog. I don't think she'd mind that much. Wow, Satan. Thanks. Alright, I'm not doing 89 damage. Yeah, I'm just doing 89 damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. That's, that's pretty good. The frog arc. What? What did I miss? Bonk. Hey, remember that challenge that gives you naturally 100 damage, but a shot speed and, like, a shot time or tears rate of absolute garbage? Well, I'm doing that now, but with the standard tier rate. And it's, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's going pretty well right now, I'd say. Can I have a bomb, please? I think I finally found a secret room. Oh, not even these guys can stand up to it anymore. It just keeps dropping kissies. I don't want kissies. I want to get angry. I'm impressed at the quality of these challenges so far. Don't let me cheesing that second one make you think otherwise. That challenge, you can see how much I was doing to that thing with, you know, like essentially default stats. So if you actually played that challenge out, it'd be a lot of fun. The Tengu cell phone one is neat. I like the debt one a lot. The debt one did require you to think, but its gimmick was fun. And this one is hilarious because it takes a boring challenge like Purist and turns it into a not, uh, oh, I mean, it's hard to call it a challenge. <laughs> it's hard to call it a challenge right now. But that's just, you know, that's just how it, this is how it is. And to be absolutely fair, it's not like, uh, I don't think the dev necessarily intended me to have eight of these things by floor four. Pretty sure I'm uh, I'm an outlier here, not uh not the norm on this challenge. <laughs> All right, this time for real. Hmm. Poggies. This is a rare find. Oh well, that's cock. All right. Yeah, some of the DLC challenges are bad. I like the base game challenges enough because they have some they have some neat stuff to them that's fun to play. Except, except uh, the Lazarus one, Suicide King. I hate that challenge, dude. Three hits. Suicide King sucks. 
And the reward you get sucks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. 302. That's a big orb. Pew. I can cheat with a coin block or a key. Ah. Pop the bubble. I can't get it. I gotta watch my hearts. If I lose, if I lose, if I lose this challenge, like just, I don't know. If you streamer me, then I just, it's just gonna be what it is. There's just no way I can lose when I kill every enemy in one single hit. Okay, I could lose to that room, so let's not go in that room. Dude, I hate, I hate you. I hate Edmund. I hate him. Personally responsible for this room. Oh, it's just a bunch of heart drops, dude. I don't have any bombs to look for things. Crunchy, 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 crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. There's no bombs. Give me a bomb drop. All right. Now, to be fair, I can't see bullets behind my giant bullet, but that's fine. Sight is for chumps. Give me a bomb, for Christ's sakes. Thank you. This isn't gonna work. I fucking knew it. Now I need another bomb. I have obtained another bomb. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why would you do that, streamer? And the answer is quite easy. It's because there can be an item in this chest, and if there is, you know what that means. Oh. Well, easy come, easy go. Hello, Loki. Bye, Loki. Thank you. Come again. Hmm. Bonk, bonk. Wow. Boss rush? Wow, the choices, the choices, the choices. Shot too big! Shot too big! Too big! Too big! Can't see. There's a pin in the ground, no? Oi, Larry. There was an enemy over there. I think I'm winning. Don't worry, chat. You know what my reward for beating boss rush is? Oh. Oh, you're good. I get another one. You want to test that theory? Give item soy milk. <laughs> I'm soyed up. Now this, this right here, I can micro that. <laughs> I can micro that. Easy. Give the shovel. You want to keep going? Wait, can I remove item? Can I remove an item, chat? 
I want to take the soy milk away. I want to see the shot just get gradually bigger and bigger. How do you do that? How do you remove an item? All I see is remove. I don't know what- I, if I click that, I don't know what's gonna happen. Bad things could happen. Just remove? I didn't do anything. Oops. Remove soy milk. Okay, I got it. Alright. Alright, we need to go deeper. Give item. Oops. We need to go deeper. Okay. It didn't work! It didn't work! I cannot go deeper. I want to go deeper. Well. Well, how about I just do this then? Give item pure fury. Oh. Oh. Oh, give it again. Oh, give it again. Oh, how about another one? I'm furious. What happens if I chat? Where are you? Go to. Stage seven. It'll crash. Fuck yeah, brother. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just stage. Okay. Stage seven. Here I am. <laughs> no! No! I'm- I lose! I can't get out of this room! I can't hit the poop! I can't get the poop! I lose! It's Jover! Wait, I have a bomb. Singular bomb. I can escape. Just press the button and something dies. <laughs> Chat, I want to go to the void. How do I warp to the void? I want to see if delirium can be defeated with this. Surely, right? What stage is that? The Hierophant. Two bone hearts. Cool. Shovel doesn't work. Hold on, I wanna get some HP. Let me give a... Give item... Maggie's... Maggie's bow. Okay, you know, just a little safety. Stage void? Stage void. You liar. You have lied to me. Stage 12? Stage 12. Alright. Coming through. Coming through. Everything gets its turn. Yeah, open your head. Open your head, champ. I'm letting God decide. I can't even make crawl spaces with this thing. I don't need that. I'm coming, I'm to pick a fight. Hello? Oh, oh, oh. Patrick! You're a SpongeBob? I don't think this bubble can get much bigger! Nonsense! Either he dies or I dies.
Yes, hello. <laughs> this is an item you can just get, I assume. Like, in the actual game. But it's quality 4, so it's probably extremely... Uh, well, I mean, I don't think quality determines rarity or anything like that. Sometimes it does. Some some items have lowered odds just naturally, because... Eh, fuck you, Luigi, I guess. Can I make a crawl space, please? Hmm. It's just a tear. It's just one big tear. I, I feel like if I grab another one... If I grab another one, the game's gonna crash. Oh, there we go. Finally. You know what's in the crawl space? <laughs> yeah, I'll take blue flies with 58,000 HP. 58,000 damage. I can't hit him. At him. Delirium? Give me him. Give me... Give me him. I'm here for one reason. I won't grab any more until I fight him. This is it. How did that blue fly not kill him? I can't even hit the bastard anymore. Too many rocks. Move! It doesn't work! It's so inconsistent! You know what? I'm pulling up the piercing tier. Give... Give item... Sa... Sagittarius. That's so much better. Oh, dude, it's all milky! You see that shit? Now it's a room clear. Now we're talking. Bro. This is not a good color. <laughs> Nopers. How is that not hitting them? Please! I beg you! Hit him! Spectral's gonna crash the game. Because that's what Spectral does. <laughs> Spectral crashes the game. Hold on. Give... Item... Rot... Rotten... Baby.
I don't remember the one that attacks for you. I don't remember. It's taking too long! There's gotta be a better item for this. <sighs> who who attacks? Who attacks for me? Um Um Please hit the right guy. Brother. Ugh. That baby gets hit. 10% chance to shoot bouncing tears. That's great. Anyway, here's Wonder Wall. I'm touching it. No one can stop me from doing what it is I'm choosing to do. Ouch. Alright, Charlie. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Boss armor, this one. Wabang! Get me out of here. Play me out, Johnny. Armor this one. Alright, that one did a number on my eyes. In fact, I forgot to wear my glasses. That's That would explain a lot. Let me go throw those on real quick. I'll do one more. Check out one more. Ugh. And then I'll wrap it up. Alright, that challenge gets a uh, 10 out of 10. Next one, photo exam. What? Huh? Okay, I understand what it is I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to get a hundred on this. But I need the right items for it to basically get as much as possible. But, I don't want to use a death certificate yet because I'm not- I want to do it at the end of the mod, so... Squishy. Item quality five. Okay. Well, we won't worry about this one, chat. But, I know what that one wants me to do, but I don't know how to do it exactly. But I'm not gonna worry about it. So, we got no blood for curse number one. Why am I a clown? I have Yum Heart. I have Joker as a full health pill. I have Clown Pieces Hat, which I can't see what it does. I don't know what those items do. I know what that does. Live to die. No blood for curse. Hmm. What was that noise? Hmm. What is that? Dark Ribbon. Player has a damaging aura. Oh, it's Rumia. Damaging aura deals 10.71. Damage every second. Damage up while staying in the aura. Consuming darkness. Yeah! Wait, my clown hat's gone. But now I have... Now I have the ribbon. This run goes to... Satan. Hold on. Is... Is the... Is the curse of... Oh no, the HP curse isn't... Okay. But what do the what do these items do? The clown piece hat. I 
know what that does. Why did I... Hmm? Huh? What? Why'd he die? You insta-die from explosions. You can't prove that. Give item Mr. Boom. I spelled it wrong. You can't prove that. Oh! First, cover yourself in oil! So what exactly does what exactly does my items do? I don't know what the clown hat does. But there's another form, there's another one for it. No blood for curse two. Oh, it's What? Wait, what? It's the same thing, but no curse of the tower. And you want me to go to mother? Oh god. Bird cage. My hat's gone. Joker. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, give me that. Hmm. Okay. Hat makes the enemies drop troll bombs when they die. Oh, so. Okay. So the whole point of the challenge is to not get hit by an explosion once. So what happens if- wait a minute. Give item host hat. Okay, so what happens now if I, um, give bomb. Give item Mr. Boom. Oh, okay. Okay. Fox in tube. Provides help in some situations. If you accept her help, she will pay for this at some time. <laughs> Glass bottles spawned by her can be broken by tears. How could a fox lie to you? I don't know. I want to trust her. I will pay for it sometime. What exactly does this mean? I want to see her activate. What was that? Ooh. Is she gonna help me or what? Oh great, Red Dingle. My favorite. Oh right, you do four. Right, right, because you're special. Yes. 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 I want to see her help me. I'm not a clown. Don't don't want to pay for hearts. Don't worry, get them. Yo. Yo. <laughs> That's my friend right there! <laughs> I guess you're gonna go into angels. Take these. You defiles, how dare you accept gifts from the devil? What the hell is Isaac? Whoa, 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 Oh, it died instantly. Okay. She just summoned Isaac on me. 
You will pay for it later, yeah. I see that. But those those gifts. Those gifts. She's so nice. That's so trustworthy. Nothing? Okay. Well, chat, I think that's it for me, though. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. That was cool. So, I'm not done with this yet. I do want to check out... Uh, I want to check out... Un oh, pardon me. I want to check out Reverse Seija. And I'll probably do a mother run for that. Check out the last two challenges. And then probably wrap it up with that. Because, I've, you know, I've played through all the different routes with all the different new characters. And then I'll pop the death certificate and take a look at all the items that are in the mod. Because there's a lot of cool ones that I definitely have missed. But the characters are good. The characters are good. The challenges are good. Uh, that curse bomb one seems kind of asinine, but... Well, there are challenges, I guess. But the ones before it were definitely more fun than challenging, so it is what it is. But the, yeah, the characters I've played so far are pretty cool. Ake is kind of weird. Satori's hilarious. Regular Satori, I didn't really use her gimmick at all. But I like that she has Guppy's eye. Aka throws rocks. And Seija... I think Seija's the coolest character because of the way she flips, like, how you play the game a little bit. Like, how she makes worse items better and better items worse. So, like, you still grab everything in every way. Because, you know, you kleptomaniac when you play this game. But... I think it's neat how, like, for example, the little baggy turned everything into horse pills. So that was a run that I could only do with, like, this character, right? And then the stopwatch is, like, a speed down. And then I had a really cool item that gives you permanent stat ups. But because it was Sage, it became permanent stat down. So I had to had to ditch it. It's pretty cool. But that's it, chat. That's it for Isaac for today. Probably one more stream of it with uh, the mod. And I will, you know, put it back on the shelf for a bit, I suppose. It's a fun game to pop open every now and again, but... You know, oh, there's only so much you can really do in it. I'm really just checking out new mods is uh, the big thing making me want to return to it for sure. And then every now and again, I just get an itch to play it. So there's that as well. But yeah, one more, uh, one more attempt at that in the future to see the last characters.